Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the properties of natural logarithmic function to determine the age of uh, some equipment uh, in terms of its uh, original cost, its uh, present value, and the annual rate of depreciation. So here's the formula we're going to use. The current value is equal to the original cost times 1 minus r, where r is the annual rate of depreciation. Um, and the minus here is because value is going down due to depreciation. And 1 minus r is raised to the t power, where t is the number of years um, since you uh, uh, purchased the equipment. So here's our numbers. Uh, we have the original cost, $19,600. The present value, only $9,055. And it depreciates at a rate of 16% uh, per year. So what ha happens is, after one year, you lose 16%, uh, 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 but then that keeps compounding. Um, so we want to uh, take that into account, uh, and that's what this formula does. We just need to find out the uh, value of uh, t uh, that brought this cost, the original cost, down to this uh, current value. So when we substitute in our numbers, we're going to have 9,055 over 19,600 is equal to... Um, Sorry, so I will fit. Uh, so current value 9,055 is equal to 19,600, and then 1 minus 0 0.16, so 0 0.16 is the uh, uh, rate of the decimal, uh, raised to the uh, t power. Um, so to solve for t, first thing I'm going to do, and I started to do this um, too soon uh, a little while ago, is divide by 19,600. So 9,055 over 19. 600 is equal to uh, 1 minus 0.16, so that's 0 0.84 raised to the t power. Now, to be able to isolate t, um, I need to use the natural logarithmic function. So I take the natural logarithm of both sides, so I have natural log of 9,055 over 19,600 is equal to Natural log of 0 0.84 to the raised to the t power. Now, I can use one of the properties of natural logs that the log of a number raised to a power is equal to that power times the log of that number. In other words, I can pull the exponent down. So now I have natural log of 9055 over 19600 is equal to t natural log of. 0.84. So now I can isolate t by dividing by natural log of 0 0.84. So now I, my, my expression for t is natural log of 9,055 over 19,600. Log of that whole fraction over log of 0 0.84. Um, so in terms of a formula, it would be natural log of uh, b over c. So present value over original cost divided by natural log of 1 minus r. Um, so now I'm going to work this out on my calculator. I will round to uh, two decimal places. So I have uh, 9,055 divided by 19,600. Get the natural log of that. It's going to be a negative number because uh, this fraction is going to be less than 1. So log of a number less than 1 is going to be negative. Uh, divided by 0.84 natural log, also negative. So both the numerator and denominator in this fraction are negative, so the overall result is a positive. And uh, what I get is 